Who did I catch what fish? I did, guys. Check it out. Wow, check it out, man. Wow, holy Toledo. I just got a giant brown trout out of that back pool. All right, as you can see, I am in the woods. This is a deer trail right here. This gentleman who lives in the farm behind me gave me permission to hike down through his swamp to get down to the river. Uh, it's gonna be a river where it's gonna have probably not a lot of fish, but they're gonna be bigger. Let's hope. And just give it a shot, see what can make happen. I'm gonna keep walking down here. I'll turn the camera back on again. This is what I'm using though. I'm gonna use for now. I got a bunch of fruity colors inside my my bag of different kind of lures I want to try, reds and some oranges and some other ones, but this will be the guy I start off with and let's see what we can make happen. Let's get to the river and then I'm gonna hike down about, I don't know, half a mile or so and then I'm gonna hike back up. So, see you in a bit. So, at this point, my main objective is to get downstream here. This connects to a main river down around the corner. From there, I'm gonna hike that little main river back up a little bit see if there's anything in that main river uh, see if anything's making any journey upstream because there's a lot of big fish in this river they're just few and far between because as you can see there's not a lot of debris in here that stuff across from me looks like it would just be like juice for, for big fish but i don't know like i said these back trip sometimes during the summer is totally dry there's no fish in it or there's no nothing in it so there's no saying that right now there's actually fish in the spot or if it's just someone actually swam up in here who did i catch what fish i did guys check it out wow check it out man wow holy toledo i just got a giant brown trout out of that back pool i didn't even think there was fish in this downstream section here wow guys all right guys this is pretty incredible i'll get this guy over here to the water Wow, I never thought there would be a brown trout even in this section down here. Check it out, there he is. We'll get him free here, but wow, that is beyond nice. First fish of the day, guys. And look at the size of that dude right there. He's the beast. Look at the size of that fish. All right, I had to get this camera out here to show you. Look how big that dude is. Wow, that is huge. All right, single hook strikes again. All right, dude. Oh. What the heck? All right, I walked down this river pretty far. I'm looking for the main channel. And uh, it splits off here into two spots. And there's the main channel that's supposed to come parallel with this thing. <sighs> there we go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which way do I stink and go? All right, I guess I'm taking that channel over there to the right and going down that way. I hope I run into the main river because I don't know, where else way to go? They seem to be liking silver in here, and this is silver, and it's also orange. I get my little Tony the Tiger view of one here. I'm just gonna toss this little homemade bugger into the water. This may be, this one here might just hit the drawing room floor and catch nothing itself, but it's got a red hook on the end, a number one Aberdeen on there. It's got that number two split ring, and a three eighths ounce, ooh, big fish right there. Three eighths ounce lure body right here. And that's a number five, I think, no, that's a number five smooth. It's a little shorter. We'll see what we can catch with it, but something big just swirled right here in front of me. Back in a second. 2,000 years later. Nothing. Whole lot of bag of wieners. And nothing. All right, let's keep moving. I'd like to get out, but at the same time, I want to keep fishing. I don't know what's ahead of me. For one, it's kind of crazy because I don't know what's ahead of me, but this is really hard to walk. This has been a severely hard walk today. And we're not talking even remotely easy at all. Super hard, super, I don't know, sticky bottoms and spots, heavy currents, deeper water. Yeah, a workout. Uh, What a cast, that was way upstream. Fish on boys and girls, fish on. I got me one, hopefully I don't lose him. Oh, he's jumping though. He's trying to get free. He might actually make it free. Let's go. All right, we got a brown trout. All right, about time. Been hiking around here for a long time now. 
Check it out, guys. Can you see them down in there? I'm sure you can. Hooked in the mouth there. Oh, the spear came off. He's ready to go back downtown with all of his buddies and hang out. Check it out, dudes. There you go. Oh, I hear him grunting too. He's like not too happy, but there you go. Oh. Bye bye, brown trout. Bye bye. Two hours later. 40% battery. And I don't know. It's getting dark. We'll try here for a few. Ooh, what happened there? Was that a bottom smack or was that somebody, something actually hit it? I mean, can't even tell. Something chasing it? Can't tell. I think something was happening. This black lure body might actually work better than the way I've been doing. Because, you know, a lot of bugs hatching out here. And black is kind of like that bug. All right. And it's hatching. It's just. Fish on, boys and girls, fish on. I got me another one, finally. I mean, I had to walk forever just to catch this guy. What do we got here? I think we got a brook trout. All right, brook trout, brook trout, brook trout. We get him in the net. Camera turned on, I sure hope so. There we go, look at that little peanut. He's a little peanut wafer. Look at him, a peanut wafer. All right, peanut wafer, we'll get you off there. You wanted that really bad, which is really weird because it's the size of you. All right, check out that little dude. He's like a little teeny weeny little dude. All right, teeny weeny dude. Later, tater, squirminator. All right, I guess fall else fails. We got a brook trout. It wasn't it? We walked a long ways up in here to catch that guy. I don't know. I'm to the point now where I feel like just turning around and heading back to the truck and trying to get home through the, the gauntlet before the the deer come out and slam into the truck because it's that time of night when they start moving again. Maybe I'll catch another one right in this spot. I'll try to see what happens. Maybe I'll catch one more brook trout in there. That brook trout was the size of the spinner, which is amazing. That spinner is huge. And that brook trout is the size of the spinner. I'm so tired right now. I just want to get out and find a shortcut and get out of here, but I don't think there is one. There's no shortcut. It's just like a long walk back down, hot, sweaty, burning up. I've had enough. All right. There was a big old massive fish right over here earlier. I kind of over off that way. Ended up getting like a, whoa, I got him. There was a fish over there and I managed to get one more before he leaves. Oh, and he got off. All right, well, there's the end of my day. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, give me a thumbs up. I'm out of here. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. Battery died in the end of my outro here when I was like sitting here talking. Then the landowner just pulled up that I haven't seen since last year. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. It's like, I seen you on camera when you were walking down the stream. So did you catch anything? He said there's like otters in here now. And this year he's seen a bunch of otters. He hadn't caught a, a decent sized trout since last summer. He said he's been in here a bunch of times and hasn't caught none but a little teeny brook trout. So I don't know, I caught a little brook trout and that's about the best I did right through here. Maybe I'm gonna have to just keep going farther upstream again, but I, I don't know. Anyways, it wasn't a bad day. I hiked down looking for that trip that I finally found it once I got way down in there. And then I hit that one little area where there was usually a dry stream. And me and Randy had been through that spot before. And it was just nothing. There was no water hardly at all. It was just all just all pretty much sand. And here I go down in there just for fun and chuck a spinner over there, a big silver spinner. And a big brown trout just blasts it on it and just eats it. So hey, it was a good way to start a day. A big giant fish. And I just hiked and hiked and hiked and hiked and hiked and hiked. I got nothing. And I finally switched out and I put on a little copper and you know, gold blade thing and I just chucked that in there. I kept chucking, chucking, chucking. And I finally caught another brown trout. So I guess, hey, all right, finally I caught one more. Then I started hiking, 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 and I didn't catch anything. So 
it was just a long, long day. It was filled with a lot of exercise. And we're talking a lot of exercise. My back's killing me right now. My legs hurt. It was a good day. I mean, hey, you can exercise and I'm losing all this weight, so it really helps out quite a bit. Anyways, it's gonna be a head over here. It's gonna be a playlist over here. Go check out the tips, tricks, and techniques of places I fish in the driftless, places I go, things that I do, long hikes that I make like today. What a long time that was. Oh my God, that took forever. Anyways, I'm gonna go home and edit this video. Thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next episode. Thank you, later, Tater. <laughs>